everyone hope you all are doing well today we will discuss about the law of conservation of angular momentum law of conservation of angular momentum says that when angular momentum of an object is conserved or remains same if the net torque acting on a particle is equal to zero so delta l is a symbol of angular momentum delta upon delta t is equal to torque delta l upon delta t is equal to zero okay so this is the equation that i have written mathematically after that according to second law of motion we have used second law of motion over here second law of motion says that the rate of change of linear momentum is force the rate of change of linear momentum is force we will write it mathematically f is equal to delta p upon t and delta p is equal to m v here i will write m v and here will upon t v upon t is equal to acceleration so f is equal to m a it's make an equation of force so it says the same thing over here that the rate of change of linear momentum is called force that i have written over here mathematically i at the place of m v i have written delta p when we will change it with m v so the remain same second law of motion formula will be over here after that the second position it says that the vector product of position vector and magnitude of a force is called torque now mathematically we know over here that the product vector product remember that that it's a vector product not a cross product so the vector product of position vector is r okay and into magnitude of a force f is called what torque this is our equation 2 now putting the value of n in equation 2 so we get now in the place of r we put r same in the place of f we put the equation 1 value that is f is equal to delta p upon delta t so in the place of f i put delta p upon delta t that is our third equation now let's move further now here it says that the cross product there was a, the vector product here is the cross product remember this thing the cross product of a position vector and linear momentum is called angular momentum there was a, the vector product of position vector and force is called torque here is the cross product of position vector and linear momentum is called angular momentum here l is the sign of angular momentum r is a position vector and p is a linear momentum after that we will divide by with delta t here we divide delta l with delta t delta r with delta t and delta p with delta t and here we did the integration how we did the integration like here we are having delta r upon delta t multiply by delta p upon delta t so what will happen we will add from one one side like here is delta r upon delta t so we will add delta p in delta r upon delta t so it will be delta r upon delta t and plus r then we are having the multiply r we will multiply it like multiply by p first of all it will be multiply by p then plus then now delta p upon delta t we multiply with r so we will write r and multiply delta p upon delta t that's written that's written over that's written over here already okay now let's move further now after that after integration what we did that after integration delta r upon delta t the rate of change of displacement is velocity so we put v over here we put put p plus r same as it is and delta p upon delta t is force that we have already done in first equation so we will write here f so we have written here f okay and after that p we will open this one p this p is a linear momentum p is equal to mv at the place of p we wrote mv over here and after that we know that v into v in a vector quantity if the both quantities are same so it's equal to 0 so this one v and this one v both is equal to 0 so i put 0 over here into m will remain same and torque will remain same zero multiplied by m our answer will be zero 
and plus delta and plus torque is remain same so delta l upon delta t is equal to torque now we have proved over here that how delta l upon delta t is equal to torque that we have done in our first equation that says that the angular momentum of an object is conserved or remains same if the net torque is acting on a particle is equal to zero we proved this one actually that the angular momentum is conserved or same with respect to time when the net torque is equal to zero okay when the net force is, is are there now after that what we did that we know that delta l upon delta t is equal to zero if we are putting torque zero then we are having delta l upon delta t is equal to zero when the net torque is zero so the angular momentum will conserve or remain same when the net torque is equal to zero here is written the same thing that the angular momentum is conserved if net torque is equal to zero now here i have written the some points of angular momentum that the, this is as a unit of angular momentum that is kilogram meter square per second this is a dimension that is ml to t minus one it's derived from after that it's same as planck's constant and the planck's constant value is the shorter value in the world that is 6.63 into 10 power minus 34 and it's discovered by millikane in 1925 and the SA unit of uh, planck's constant is joule second and it's also a unit of angular momentum and cgs in cgs we have written arg second one arg is equal to 10 power minus 7 seconds in british unit it's 1035 joule one calorie is equal to 4.186 joule and one british unit is equal to 252 calorie hope you understand the law of conservation of angular momentum it's quite easy if you haven't uh, understand or if you have any question you can write your question in comment i will reply you as soon as possible till that bye bye take care